Hi, I'm Dr. Corey Kirshner, board certified chiropractic neurologist, practicing functional medicine and chiropractic for over 30 years. Our office specializes in dealing with people with chronic conditions, metabolic conditions and neurologic conditions. And chances are if you're watching this video, either you or someone you know is suffering from a chronic condition called peripheral neuropathy. Now the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy are pain, numbness, tingling, burning sensation, and usually in the feet, but it can be in the hands or frankly anywhere where there's nervous tissue in the body. But peripheral neuropathy is more than just those symptoms. See, most of, our, most of my patients who have peripheral neuropathy before they come to my office have life-altering problems too because the burning sensation or the pain sensation in the feet also affects how far they can walk, so it affects their relationship with loved ones, how well they can sleep, so it makes them kind of cranky through the day, can affect uh, balance problems, so they have problems either dri driving in cars or actually enjoying life. So it's more than just the symptoms of the burning sensation in the feet, but it is a life-altering sort of condition. Not good. What the problem is, is, is most people when they have peripheral neuropathy, they go to the family doctor, and the only medical treatment for peripheral neuropathy is medications like gabapentin and Lyrica, which basically is trying to treat the pain of peripheral neuropathy. But what I found is, over the years, from a neurologic metabolic approach, is there's always some underlying condition that's causing the peripheral neuropathy itself, or the, or, the, or the underlying cause of the problem that's actually affecting the nerves. And I say that from a few different viewpoints. So one is, the research is a thousand percent clear that peripheral nerves, given the right environment, can improve the literature. I know within my office, we have multiple patients with a variety of different kinds of signs and symptoms of peripheral neuropathy through our care, start to have the nerves regenerate where they're able to get some of their life quality back. So here's how it goes, is in our office, the way, or the way you should be treated, not just our office, but anywhere, if you want to overcome your peripheral neuropathy problem, you need to look at this from a neurologic and a metabolic approach. And the metabolic approach starts with blood testing. And on a blood panel, a, and what we run in our office, and what you should have run on yourself, is a CMP, looking for do you have a glucose problem or a diabetes problem? Do you have an anemia? If you have an anemia, there is no chance at all of you ever getting better until the anemia is handled. Do you have a toxicity problem? Do you have an elimination problem? One of the, one of the tests that we run is a food sensitivity problem. And you might be asking, why would I run a food sensitivity panel? But you need to understand, peripheral neuropathy, it describes the pain, but what's underlying that condition is an inflammatory process. So we're trying to reduce inflammation throughout the whole body, giving your body a chance to actually heal. And what we found over the years, one of the biggest sources of inflammation in the body is food sensitive, uh, food, uh, foods, foods that you're sensitive to. So you might be eating a healthy diet. Let's say you're eating apples and oranges and peaches and lettuce. And let's say you're the type of person, and let's say you have a food sensitivity to those healthy foods. You keep on eating those, what might happen? Well, you're going to keep on having inflammation in the body, keep on having nerve damage. So it just makes sense that like if you're creating the inflammation process in your body and you don't get rid of it, what are the chances of you ever actually overcoming those problems? So what, we all what I have found with my peripheral neuropathy patients is the two most common underlying causes of peripheral neuropathy is one, diabetes, and two, autoimmune conditions. Diabetes, we all know what this is, high blood sugar. High blood sugar dest destroys or slowly burns out the nerves. And two is autoimmune diseases. And what an autoimmune disease is, is inflammation of the body. You increase inflammation of the body. That causes destruction of tissue. In this case, peripheral nerve or nervous tissue. So when we look at a body, we look at it from two different viewpoints. One is the, uh, uh, what we call the metabolic viewpoint. And the other viewpoint we to look at is from what we call a brain, ba uh, uh, a brain viewpoint. Meaning, if you have an underlying condition affecting the nerves in your feet, where, where else do you have nerves in your body? That's right, in your brain. Signs and symptoms of brain functional loss can be anxieties, can be fatigue, can be depression, can be balance problems, and can be a number of other signs and symptoms of the neurologic tissue. So what we do is, it, depending on what's going on as far as your body is concerned, not we, but what should be done for you, is address the underlying metabolic problem through diets and supplements, exercise, other strategies, and if you have a uh, functional loss, what we call brain functional loss, that also needs to be addressed. 
And what we've developed over the years is what we call a brain-based therapy approach. And what that is, is it's a way to find out which nerves are dying off, feet, brain, body, which nerves are healthy. And if you can find enough healthy nerves and make those more active, there's a chance to lessen the impact of peripheral neuropathy in your feet and peripheral neuropathy in your brain. So I know this is kind of complicated, but the point is, biggest point is, if you have peripheral neuropathy, don't give up. There is a possibility for you to get better. The thing you need to understand though, it can't happen with just a supplement. It's not going to happen with a pill. There's a lot of things you're going to need to do to overcome this peripheral neuropathy problem. Now, I would love to meet you and chat and see if we could actually help your problem. So, one side thing is, if you look on, either on my website, drkershaw.com, or maybe on this page, you'll see testimonials of other people like you that have overcome their peripheral neuropathy problem. And I know, I don't know what your problem is, I don't know how advanced it is. Maybe it's not, maybe it hasn't been advanced too far yet where we have a chance to impact it in a, in a, in a, in a healthy, healthy manner. But if, it is, if you haven't gotten to that point where, it, where it's irreparable, this is the time to call. Not a month from now, not a year from now, not when the nerves are totally gone, where we, there's no possibility for this to get better. So if this makes sense to you at all, or if you're intrigued at all, two ways to approach our, uh, make an appointment in our office. One is, you call our office, 610-435-1777. Or, if this video is on a site where it says, well, you have an opportunity to have a five-minute free phone console, we can actually discuss your condition, I'd be more than happy to talk to you if we could actually help you peripheral neuropathy problem. I hope this helps. I hope it gives you hope. There is a chance. 610-435-1777. My name is Dr. Corey Kirshner. I would love to meet you.